You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. This past year, the word hero has been thrown around a great deal. But we here at NACA want you to know that it didn't take a viral pandemic for us to know that CNAs are heroes. We've known it for decades. That is what has driven the National Association of Healthcare Assistants to work so hard on behalf of CNAs for over 25 years now. I want to thank Pennsylvania's Observer Reporter for initially printing this great story. Today, I want you to meet Linda Johnson, a certified nursing assistant from Abella, Pennsylvania. It was September 25th, 2020. It was about two o'clock in the afternoon. She was driving her vehicle and was stopped at the intersection of Henderson and Jefferson Avenues when she saw a fire police car with the blue light drive up a grassy hillside on the property of D'Angelo Funeral Home. It was such an odd sight for her to see. She knew something wasn't right. Linda stated, once it's in your heart that you know something's wrong, you have to do something. So Linda drove into the funeral home parking lot to investigate, saw the driver slumped over in the car, and immediately called 911. The driver wasn't breathing. Linda checked for a pulse and said it was extremely weak. Linda knew this man was in trouble. His face was already turning colors of blue and gray. She was unable to get him out of the car herself, so she started chest compressions inside the vehicle the best she could. Del D'Angelo, owner of the funeral home, had stepped outside to leave when he saw her motion for help and he went to assist. Together, the two got the man to the ground and continued CPR. It only took a couple of minutes for emergency crews to arrive. After five electric shocks, over 20 IV drugs, insertion of a breathing tube, and continuous chest compressions, this man's heart still wasn't beating. Desperate, the agency's medical director gave authorization to do double sequential defibrillation, which is kind of an unheard thing in emergency medicine or EMS. The paramedics connected two fully charged monitors and defibrillators to the man and shocked his heart with both units at the same time. Reportedly, the strength of the shock lifted his body off the ground about six inches, but you know what? they got a pulse back. As it turns out, the man is Richard Pizzarella, 61 years old of Canton Township, a volunteer with the Township Fire Department for 25 years. He's referred to as Fire Police. He's a volunteer who directs traffic on accident calls to ensure the safety of the crews working on the scene. He had gotten into his vehicle, headed to a car crash to direct traffic. The next thing he remembers is waking up in the hospital four days after his heart attack and dying twice. Paramedics say that when they arrived, Pizzarello was dead on the scene. The early CPR given by Linda was critical to Pizzarello's survival. A few days later, Linda learned of Pizzarella's survival and his condition. He's a very lucky man, she said. He has quite a guardian angel over top of him. Well, Linda Johnson, we here at NACA agree. He did have a guardian angel over him that afternoon, and it was you. 
your astute observations, your willingness to help others, and your determination saved a man's life. And you weren't even on the job at work. Everyone, please join me and Naka today in celebrating an outstanding individual, Linda Johnson, CNA hero.